guys, it's Ashley from The Candle Collective, and I'm bringing you a video today all about those fragrance reviews. And this one's really exciting because it's a fresh new line, fresh being the key word there, of 2024 Spring Collection from Makesy. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Ashley. I'm a serial entrepreneur, and I like to share a lot about marketing and business strategy, but I take you along this ride with me all in regards to my candle company. And so of course, along the way, I do a lot of fragrance reviews, and this is one of them. You guys use Makesy oils. You obviously know that they have a really good track record of very rich very unique blends and that's something that's really nice for candle makers who don't make their own blends it's something that you can just kind of like find key notes that you like and then it's like okay we can just go in and you know that it's a tried and true fragrance and nine times out of ten i will say that fragrances from Makesy always throw for me. I use coconut soy wax and I really haven't had an issue with there not being a throw. I do always have to tweak um, like what wicks or things that I might use with them. But nine times out of 10, I think there was only one scent that I got from them, maybe two, two from them over my last three, four years of doing this. And that didn't like have a scent at all that I could like make work even through different testing. Off of that, um, this is the Spring Fragrance Discovery Kit from Makesy. So I'm going to go through this with you guys. And you know, if you've listened to any of my fragrance review videos, I don't have a very eclectic and diverse way of describing these things. Um, to give you some context, describing my candles and writing captions and descriptions for them is like the bane of my existence. So this is no different. But I wanted to start off with one that was already my favorite. I did already dive into these, I'll be honest. So this isn't my first sniff. Although I can't even remember what I had for lunch yesterday. So I don't remember my favorites. But this was one that I was really interested in for the simple reason that um, it just hits all of the notes for me. And I went on and I looked at the price because I was like, I'm mm, probably going to have to get a bigger one. I don't even know how to like say the first word. It's Yapon Tea and Jasmine Bunka. Like absolutely obsessed. I don't even know what I'm smelling. It's sweet. It's uplifting. And there is something tea-like in it. I just can't figure out what it is. I'm not a tea person. I'm a coffee girl. But I'm like very enchanted by this. And I think that this is like a super fresh, uplifting scent. Absolutely 10 out of 10 out of the bottle. So if you've used this, I would love to know how it works in your candles. Winner. The next one is Italian lemon and juniper water. Oh. So I'm not a floral girly. But the thing that I like about this, and maybe it's just like the enchantment around the scent that is scented water, I don't know. It's super fresh and it reminds me of, definitely smell the lemon. It's reminding me of something almost like a, a flavored coconut water, if that helps, which makes sense, like lemon, but it's juniper water. So I don't know how that all comes in. I do smell the juniper though. I definitely smell lemon and juniper. I don't know what else is in there. Um, it's probably a no for me just because it's not something that I would normally pick off the shelf. But if you're looking for something lemon, this might be your winner. Orange Blossom and Fig. Maybe I thought I smelled all these and I actually really didn't. So that was a lie. I just went for like keynotes. Oh, I do remember this one. Okay. I actually don't smell orange in this. And maybe it's because orange blossom is different than like what I'm thinking of, which is like a navel orange. But I also don't smell fig in this one. This one is an, a no for me. Also, aside from the tea and jasmine that I was absolutely obsessed with, it is a darker color. I used um, Spice Pear and Whiskey before and it's this darker color. And I don't love how it stains the, the wax or the wax comes out like tinted. This is going to be a no for me. I could almost see this being like a spring summer transition scent. Not something that like I'm drawn to from my nose palette. But again, it's very well done. Their scents are just like a level up. I'll be honest. Okay. Vetiver grass and fresh bergamot. I did smell this one already because anything vetiver, I usually sign me up. And my customers love bergamot. I had to do some research. Bergamot is actually a, a citrus. It's like a little gray, green citrus fruit. We really love this one. And if you've ever followed like my Instagram or anything from my business account, um, I don't talk much about making candles on there. So if you don't, that makes sense. But 
I like have this running joke that I'll never make a grass candle. If there was ever a chance where I did break my rule, it would be vetiver grass and fresh bergamot. I mean, the other components are just like saving it for me. So I'm interested to see. I'll have to like look at the notes to see what grass is, but like how that's being represented in the scent. So far, still my favorite is this tea and jasmine bunka. Wild angelica and purple myrtle. I don't know. I mean, at this point, we all just kind of have to trust Maxi that they're like not making these things up. But like, I've never heard of any of these things before in my life. And it's an absolute no for me. Um, so there's probably a reason why I've made it this many years on the planet and not knowing what this scent is. Like a masculine and I hate to use the word pungent, but that's kind of like what I'm feeling here with this. And it's just not my favorite. So it's going to be a no for me. Pink camellia and patchouli flower. I love patchouli, which is just crazy because I know some people are like, you couldn't pay me to smell patchouli. I really, really like this one because of the patchouli. I can smell it. I don't know what pink camellia is, but this would be a lovely scent. If you like the rose patchouli and amber scent, you will absolutely love this. I can testify. Their R&D department on fragrances are just popping off. Osmanthus nectar and white suede. I love anything suede, so I'll just say that. Ooh, I definitely smell the suede. I have no idea what Osmanthus is, but it's really, really good. Don't know that it would be a scent that I would love to put in my line. I am looking for something that is like more suede oriented. And I will say um, when I noted in the beginning of this video that I've only had one or two scents from Maxi that just didn't make the cut for me in regards to throw. And they didn't make my line, obviously, because I couldn't smell them. But one of them was that one, like a suede scent that they have. I don't know exactly what it was, but it just is a little too soft. Like I want something that's like leather and suede or like embers and suede, like something just really rich that makes you feel like you need to like sit down with a cigar and a leather chair. And I don't do either of those things, but I want to feel like I might. You know, native moss and forest musk. Now, just from the name of it, I'm into it. So let's see. So I absolutely love it. It's really faint to me, though. And so that would make me wonder if it just like wouldn't show up on a candle. But it is lovely. Um, I love the musk. I love the moss. I love the like grounding earthy tones. So I'm actually very much into it. I just don't know. It's just not like really showing up for me. So I'd be interested to see how this promotes in a candle. So if you've tried it, you've got to let me know. Mandarin petals and red amber. It's way too floral for me. I definitely smell the amber. Oh, you know why? Because in college or no, before college, I don't want to condone underage anything, but I had fun at prom and I drank absolute Mandarin. And this is definitely giving me vibes. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that there because that story could be for like another video that probably doesn't fit my channel. But Mandarin has never been my love language since that day. But Amber is great. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not doing that one justice. Okay, apricot, orchids, and blonde woods. I don't know what blonde woods smell like, but I'm into it. I'd like to be in the woods right now. Love, 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 love. This one would be amazing in a spring or summer candle. It's got floral. It's got citrus. It's got woodsy notes. I'm sure this one would burn like really, really well. Yes. I'm going to go look up the price of this one because if it's in my budget, it's happening. So apricot orchids and blonde woods and the tea and jasmine banca that I can't say the words of the front one. Those ones were absolutely yes. If I loved grass more, I'd probably be into the vetiver and fresh bergamot, but super unique blend. Um, and then I'm Dury's out on this native moss and forest musk, but I'm definitely interested. I would love to know if you guys use it. Let's say, let's say that. I would love to know if you guys have experience with that because I would worry that it wouldn't like smell strong enough. So 
Um, Makes you thank you guys so much for sending me these. Guys, go ahead and get your spring fragrance discovery kit. It's out now with Makesy. We love their packaging always. And if you guys have reviews or things that you want to see from me in the coming months, please just drop them in the comments below. My name is Ashley. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would love that. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys.